Korean cuisine is all about some of the most flavorsome and delicious dishes in the world. Originating from agricultural and nomadic traditions in Korea and South Manchuria, Korean cuisine is still evolving. Some of the most commonly used ingredients in this cuisine are Doenjang. It's basically a fermented bean paste, salt, ginger, garlic, soy sauce, gochujang. It's, more, it's mainly a fermented red chili paste, gochugaru, pepper flakes and napa cabbage. Though Korean cuisine is establishing its dominance in India, but it's still difficult to find good Korean restaurants. For that reason, we have charted out some of the best Korean restaurants for you guys, which serves good authentic Korean delicacies. So here we come with our second segment, 5 must visit Korean restaurants in Kolkata with your friend Pubali in your channel Cafeism. Our first Korean stop is King's Bakery which is in AJC Boast Road. So come with me, let's have a look how this actually looks like. Our first ever Korean cuisine is kimbap or gimbap. It's mainly rice and various boiled vegetables like carrots, chicken sausages, spinach, onions, all are spread and rolled in a dried seaweed sheets and then rolled and cut into pieces. You may think it is same like Japanese sushi but it's actually not. So, here I am trying my kimbap. It's good, but I'm not liking it. But it's not bad. As far as the Korean cuisine goes, it's absolutely okay. But uh, somewhere I'm not liking it because it, it smells somewhat like punjing and stinky. Basically, I think it's from the dried seaweed. So, I can't have this. Sorry. But you guys can come and try this for sure. It's a lie. 
Our next order item is mandu goo. It's nothing but a Korean style chicken dumpling soup. I think it will not give me that experience. Now I'm playing safe. You can see it's chicken dumpling. Well, it's super soft from outside, but Mm. So soft, creamy and fulfilling from inside too. This one is super light. It's good. I can have this and have my happy face. But you guys can try that limbi puff. It's not that bad but I didn't like that. Sorry. But this one is really nice. Now I ordered a meal for me, which is named Dark Galbi Pomo Meal. It's basically boneless chicken pieces cooked in red chili paste sauce and served with rice bowl, Korean style pickle and my favorite watermelons. Again, I have played safe by ordering this. Mm. It's actually good. It's like our barbecue chicken. It's so flavorful, smoky, properly grilled and cooked with vegetables. I can see carrots, cabbage leaves, onions and spring onions. It's a nice one. Mm. But As my Indian tongue goes, it's not at all salty. If I would make this, I would add some salt in it. Otherwise, it's a good one. Like, I'm trying Korean style pickle. Why I tried this, I don't know. Here again, some roughly cut on onions in it with a unique pickle, unique in taste, unique in smell. Being a Bangali by heart, I don't know how a Bangali, especially an Indian who has an Indian tongue can have this bowl of rice. It's so sticky, it's like our shebdu bhat or gola bhat. I'm trying all these unique dishes for you guys only. I don't know how long I can try this, but I'm trying. This one is good. And the best of all, the most safest and delicious and it's my favorite too, the watermelon. This one is super light, super light, super light. Jokes apart, this dog galbi common meal, it's a lie. After facing all those Korean challenges, here I am with my favorite watermelon mojito. Well, it's good but not so perfect to beat the heat of this sultry summer. It's less in sugar, 
health freaks will be happy with this but the actual mojito taste is not coming with this laced sugar it's not fizzy either and it's basically like ice crushed in water there's no punch of salt no punch of lemon there's lemon but it's not tangy the mint leaves actually it's not fizzy either they added all the ingredients but it's not mixed properly so the overall taste is not coming so the watermelon mojito is actually bad dislike my experience in king's bakery is a mixed one before concluding i want to mention two noteworthy things about the king's bakery one they have three acs in the hall but two of them are not working so you might feel a little bit sweaty and hot and another one is they provide tap water as a regular water if you want you can buy a bottle of mineral water from them otherwise their filter is also not working so you have to take tap water so please keep these two things in mind before coming to king's bakery i'm sharing my overall experience with you as you know our cafeism is not only about food reviews but having the overall experiences so if you like our content then please do like share and subscribe it will be a lot to me and for the detailed address check our description box so see you until next time till then bye and take care